Turn on the fan. Turn off the fan. Hello guys and welcome back to Retron channel on YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick configuration on how to set up this 2 yard smart plug. So I have purchased this 2 yard smart plug uh, a few days ago and it cost around 5 bucks or something. I, I made an order online from the Chinese biggest online market called Taobao. So it shipped direct to uh, my country, Cambodia. And I have tried this for a few days and it worked pretty uh, fun, as you can see. The introduction video that I just demonstrated with the uh, controlling the voice command it worked pretty much uh, cool it linked it with it can also link it with the uh, Amazon Alexa also uh, able to link with uh, Google voice command so uh, in this video I'm going to give you a quick setup on how you could start from the zero which is the first thing to do from this till uh, the way you can set up the voice command on both a voice assistant Amazon and Google so let's enjoy the video together okay guys without any uh, further waiting let's get to the configuration part so in order to have uh, the smart plug configured we have to download the uh, application on our smartphone it works on both Android and iOS uh, operating system so you can just go ahead and download the application so that you can have it config and pair with your phone so the application is called smart life so this smart life is uh, pretty much uh, easy to use. I have tried it uh, for a long time already and it's working pretty fine. So type in smart life, smart life in here, search. Here you go, you will see the, the, the blue icon with the home and little Wi-Fi uh, sign on it. Just tap on it and download it. If you already download it, just uh, leave it there or check for any news update. So I'm gonna head back to the application. So this is my application, Smart Life. I'm gonna click on it. You can see I have registered three devices so far. One is the light, the light that is uh, the smart bulb that used to control the light. It can set to any type of color. You can see here there's a lot of color to choose, but I pretty much love this red warm color. It's uh, making me feel better. So let's not talking about the light. Let's actually go into the plug. So I have made two config plug already. The one one is the fan i named it the fan and because i used the plug to control the fan and the other one is called mobile plug so that was the random name that i made because at that time i was charging my mobile so i want to test whether it's working properly or not so now we want to actually uh, uh start configure it with our uh, smart plug so let us assume that we have just bought the smart plug so now i'm going to plug in the uh, smart plug let me plug in the smart plug okay so after we plug in the smart plug if it is already connected to i mean if it used to connect to any wi-fi network it's probably working just fine but if you have changed your wi-fi password or maybe this is just a new device that you need to reconfig it just first of all is to press on the power button of the smart plug for five seconds so let me press on it like one two three four five six something like that and just release it and it will uh blinking an led and that you will discover your device so it's a device to be at or if it's not showing up on this uh, uh if it's not popping up any device yet just go ahead and tap on the plus sign up there click on that and click on add device so right here they will manually search for a device that is being reset and will show up so right here they said discovering a device which is a plug so you're gonna go ahead and tap on add and then if we call a smart plug you just tap on the plus sign now right here you have to choose the network so if you have multiple network around you and you want to choose your network, just go ahead and change the network like that. Go to your Wi-Fi and change the network. But if you're already on your network, just leave it there. Go back to the configurations page and you will see your network already registered with the password. So now all you have to do is to go and click next. So after clicking next, it will configure the entire process and it will edit the smart plug into your account or to your smart life application so now it is already connected yep and then you can rename it to anything you want i rename it called the fan so in here i can click on rename and change the name to anything i want so now you 
once you have finished you can go ahead and click done so now it working just fine right now you can tap it on you can tap it off and anything that plug into the uh, smart plug will automatically turn on and off once you have control over the application so uh, this is the configuration part on how you can set up your smart plug on the first use so uh, after that we're going to uh, see how we could configure it the configuring the smart plug into a voice assistant so we'll see it in the next step okay guys so after we have made a configuration the setup on our smart plug and it's working pretty fine right now so we would like to process to proceed into another step is to configure it with our voice command using the uh, voice assistant from alexa or from uh, amazon alexa or from uh, uh, google assistant something like that so because of the uh, handy of the app that they have integrated with the voice assistant within the app so you can actually uh, uh, easily configure it within the app so in here we have the application uh, open and we have all our uh, tool that have connected to the application also this is uh, the account I have, I, have made, I have created an account and set up all this uh, uh, tool within the account so that when I log it into the other device it will all remain within the account and I can still control the this tool from other device with my uh, registered account so the registered account is free it is no charge at all you can go ahead and uh, register one if you're looking for a long time usage and also to use across device so that you won't need to add into any other device step by step one by one and again just log into your uh, account and all of the tools that have been saved within the account will automatically sync into the other device as well so let's get started how we can configure the voice assistant so in here in order to set up the voice assistant you all you have to do is to go to the downside of the application and you will see the uh, me tab the one with the circle and a person inside just tap on that tap on me okay so now when you tap on me at the first uh section you would not notice the word third party voice services so in here you they, the application lets you to integrate or to sing the tool that you have connected you to, to the application to actually continue connected to other voice assistant for example you can have amazon alexa you can have google assistant smart thing and even more so click on more let's see what what else do they have click on more and we see we have Alexa, we have Google Assistant, we have SmartThing, and we have IFTTT. So uh, I only recommend to use two of this because it is very handy and it's, it is what we are using every day. The first one is the Alexa. The second one would be Google Assistant. So let's start with the Alexa. So in here, if you want to, if you have an Amazon Alexa account, just go ahead and tap on the Alexa up there. And in this tab, you will see that they will require you to log into the Amazon Alexa. So all you have to do is to type in the password, type in the email of your Amazon account, Amazon Alexa account, and then click on sign in, and then they will lead to the other page, which is asking you whether you want to allow the application to sync with the Amazon account or not. Just click on allow, and everything will be connected, and you will be able to uh, configure. I mean, to, to to control the tool you have within your Alexa voice command. So it is very simple. Just go through the step that I uh, have mentioned about uh, before. So consider this done. So let's go into the Google Assistant. So Google Assistant is even more easy. So go and tap on the Google Assistant. The same, I have already linked all of the accounts, so it won't show up any login page. But for you, if you haven't yet linked any account to your uh, Smart Life app, just go ahead, tap on the Google Assistant right here, or just the previous one, the Amazon Alexa. Click on the logo, and it will lead you to the login page. Type in your email, type in your password, click on sign in. If they ask for verif verification, just click and authorize the uh, verification and then you will see that they will ask you to allow the application to I mean asking you to allow the Google Assistant to uh, manage and control the tool you have set within the application using your voice command just click on allow and it, everything will be set up so this is very very simple the very very simple thing to actually uh, allow the voice assistant to control your device using your voice command so uh, this is pretty easy and if you have any questions just leave it down there in the comment section below and I will be very delight to answer and help you configure all the, the step that you are feel hard to, uh, to to complete so thank you for watching and see you in the next video so thank you and bye for now